uh, her coming this afternoon to speak to us as well. She has some uh, very unusual experiences and extensive experiences in, in using the social media and dealing with PR for a very major university here in Thailand. Good afternoon. Can you hear me at the back? Okay. It's good to speak into the mic. All right. Hello. Okay. That's good. That's good. Good. Um, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm really grateful that you're staying with me because I'm the last <laughs> person. And it's Friday night. You know, everyone wants to go party. So I'm just going to make it fun and quick and useful. Okay. But. Um, if you have any questions or anything, you know, just want to discuss about it, you can just, you know, pop up and let me know, okay? And of course, thank you, Dr. Gob and Dr. Howard Combs for inviting me to come to this very prestigious e-learning, disruptive, you know, innovation. And, and it's the first time, first experience of writing um, BTS and walk all the way from this. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and, and very fun, very fun, the first time here. And, and I'm glad that I'll be able to share my experiences. Actually, I'm telling you the truth that I'm not um, really a PR professional, really PR, PR. You know, like the PR person has to go, you know, socialize and you have to yell out your product all the time. But I'm always academic person. I'm, I've been teaching for 13 years. I've been, you know, doing a lot of teachings all the time, but it's just, um, I'm just, you know, it's a fluke that I have to get this position of doing a PR for Julalongkorn University. So this is my experience that how I use my, um, my position to, to do the PR for Chulalongkorn University. Okay, well, well, I'm not just gonna, you know, lecture <laughs> about this social media, but just a brief, brief um, definition about social media. You know, you know, you, you all know what it is. It's a web base, and of course, um, we, we now, like, using all this cell phone all the time, sending line, calling line, you know, doing Facebook and everything. So it's kind of like a new, new way, new, new paradigm of, of human, human race. I mean, this is like very fast. And in higher education, we use it a lot for very specific purposes. For example, recruiting students, you know, we, a lot of, private university use a lot of Facebook in Thailand, you know, trying to promote the program, make it more exciting, you know, all these things. And then, of course, learning that um, professor said, just said right now that, you know, you use a lot of Facebook, interact with your students, and that is faster now, and have students engage. So, what's the deal with Jula Longgan University and social media. Um, we, well, we kind of the oldest university. We reaching 100 years old next year. And uh, we kind of like, you know, we believe that we are, we rank number one in, the, in, in Thailand. So people have a very high expectation and every Thing that we do, everything that we, you know, we telling the society what is going on, you know, they always watching us. What's going on? What is Jula doing? Why Jula is not doing? What are you doing? Why are you doing this? Why not you doing that? You know, this and that. We always in the spotlight all the time, and that is very difficult for us to, you know, 
to have a good image all the time, a positive image all the time. So we need to have a well-planned communication and strategic PR management, you know. And we have to set, of course, sometimes we got into the very bad, bad um, publicities. So we have to go out and get the record straight. We have to tell the truth and we have to, you know, get people back to the normal mode that we not, we not, you know, that bad, you know, things like that. So this is a very um, simple strategy that we use all the time. We call it fast, fast. F is find out. We have to find out what happened, what is the situation, the crisis, what, what's going on, who's doing what. And we analyze. We analyze, which, which means we set what we want to talk to the people, the key message, you know, like a slogan or something. And then we said, who is the spokesperson? You know, he is, who is the most um, suitable? Who is the most um, trustworthy, you know, reliable person in that specific case? You know, not, not, every, not every news or not everything that has to be by the dean or by the president, you know, can be David Ford here, you know. So we have to analyze that and then we step in quickly, take action. And then, of course, we need to take integrity by telling the truth, okay. Everything has to be the truth. So this is a flow, the flow of whatever happened. We have the crisis every, well, I've been working for PR for, for this, uh, the last president um, of, of Jula for the last eight years. And, and we have average of um, probably a crisis and an issue probably once a month. Well, it's not in the news all the time, which, you know, I'm glad. But usually it's like in average, it's once a month for every little thing to issue to crisis, to the big crisis and go to CNN, you know, all that kind of thing. It's, it's, it's different level. But anyway, this is a flow. You usually go to, the president has, you know, to, you know, get us together. Uh, we met, we talk about what's going on, we analyze and then we take action and usually I will be the one who edit the message with my team. Of course, I'm not doing it alone. With every time we have to have, you know, a, the good person who have a creative writing, like David said, you have to be creative, you're writing something, you know, and then to send a message and then give it to the spoke person, okay, which um, I told you that it's not, it's, it's different in each case. So the message would go through the social media, which is not long time ago that we have been using this social media. Um, but as of July this month that I prepared this PowerPoint, I have these figures that we have 322,000. That's a lot of light, which we didn't, we didn't invest any money, we didn't give any money to Mark Zuckerberg. No. This is free, totally free. Okay. Well, I tell you later on why, uh, you know, we have rising all this, um, the number of people who liked our Facebook every day. Every single day is increasing every day. And Twitter, following Twitter, and, and lie. For the lie, um, we don't, well, actually, we, we were asked to pay like five million baht or something for the friends official and, you know, all this. I think it's around five million baht to have our official lie for like uh, corporations, you know. So we don't do that. <laughs> we save our money for something else. But we have this... Um, non-official line maximum, which is like about 5,000 people, you know, that we can send a message and respond to them and, you know, tell them about what is going on. A lot of students come and ask, 
you know, when the school start, you know, what's going on, when is the registration doing whatever, you know, all that kind of thing. And we have YouTube, we have, of course, Instagram. The Instagram is something that a lot of students um, post the pictures and events, you know, orientation, the party, and blah, 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 you know. So lots of pictures there. Now, today I'm, I'm going to tell you about the big four crises that happened in the past eight years, which is number one, the big flood in Thailand in 2011, which um, has been a nightmare like for two or three months that we were you know, underwater. You know, you know, some of you experienced that. And it's almost, you know, the flood is almost got into the, the campus. But around us, everywhere, it's two meters, three meters height of flood. You know, people didn't have clean food, clean water. They didn't have clean toilet. They have to poop along the river. You know, it's all these germs and everything. So, so we trying to help them. We help every, we, we try as hard as we can to help the, the people, you know, because, you know, our slogan is the pillar of the kingdom. So we want to act like one. So this, like, of course, our president is a doctor, which has, you know, the doctor instinct that always helping people. So he's kind of like, um, well, first, first few days I was, Okay, I'm 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 in with you. We in this together, and I'm all excited about this. My team got all excited, but few weeks, few months, we got exhausted. We oh, please stop helping people already. <laughs> we tired already, so please stop. But we had to go on, and we expand to helping dogs and cats, and <laughs> not only human. We helping everything. We helping. Um, you know, making toilet, you know, building houses, building bridges, you know, not only giving food, you know, all these kind of things. It's like on and on and on, like series that never end. But anyway, this, the, the social media came into a, a very big, well, this is like about two, 2011, it's like seven, six, six, seven years ago. And people didn't use a lot of Facebook, you know. But the flood made us realize that the social media is great. It's a great tool for sending our message, recruiting volunteers, you know, because people want to help, but they don't know how. So we send them the message, come into our kitchen. Today we're going to have, you know, food and then we need help, we need people to come and pack the, you know, lunch box and things like that. And so students come, come to help. A lot of, not only students, but people around, just people around Jula, just come and help making, you know, this is a stool and we make it to the toilet. You know, so the message sending out. So what I have learned is if we take a very quick action on making it concrete, not only speak, but you have to do it, you have to help, then, you know, it's naturally people will come and respond to your, to your social media, you know. We have, we truly having a very good tools, you know, and, and everything will come naturally. You don't have to put a lot of money, you don't have to advertise or anything if you have a good tools, helpful, useful tools, and send it out, and then you monitor. You have to have a daily news monitoring because you have to check and evaluate how you're doing. Is this the right way to help people? You know, is this the right medicine that you're giving to the, the you know, your your passion or anything like that, you have to check with the society what's going on. So you have to check, of course, with Facebook. You have to check the comments and respond and things like that. And we, we gradually have our own TV, 
like a video, um, you know, we uploaded it on YouTube, we, and we named it CU Channels, which is free to, you know, we told our students, and they come and then, you know, they demonstrate how to make a live float, um, server floating, and, you know, how to cook the rice not, not rotten in a few days, you know, things like that, a useful life-saving kind of, you know, methods. So we upload it into the YouTube, and everyone, you know, who wants to know how to do the thing that save their life and relieve the, the, the flood, the victims would come and, you know, look at the YouTube. So the result came very, very nicely because we got a very good uh, positive um, response from, of course, international media like CNN. And then even um, the Secretary of the United Nations picked us and came to see Jula, the shelter. Yeah, Ban Ki-moon, right? The Korean professor gone, but anyway. The Ban, Ban Ki-moon, yeah, he came to our shelter. And that is when our PR team got exhausted <laughs> <laughs> because we have to prepare the press release, you know, all that kind of things, and the security guard and everything, and oh. But, but it was worthwhile, and that words like million dollars, dollars of PR value. Right, right, sure. <laughs> and, but it's a lot of work. See, the United Nations poses that Jula Longan Sport Complex is the shelter for, for the victims, you know. So we help, we, we use our sport complex to be our shelter for the victims because people had no, no home to live. So lesson learned. Like I told you, a lot of light just came naturally without paying people and hiring people just, you know, pressing like all the time, but this is the, they like us because they want to know the information that we keep posting the new information all the time. The, the thing is our Facebook is alive. We posting all the time. That's why. Okay. And the student need to know about, you know, they, they want to stay at home all the time. You know, not everyone, but they just like get lazy and they just want to know, are the university open yet? Is, is the, the class is on yet? You know, so they keep asking. So they, they like us, they follow us all the time. Another thing is, at that time, 2011, we just started the, the Facebook and all the social media. And we didn't really set who is going to be the administ administrator for the, ad, uh, for the Facebook. So at that time, we kind of still in, in um, you know, a little not really well organized team. But eventually, I have to make someone you here, this is your job, you sit here and then you're just doing the Facebook. That's all it's your job is, just, you just take care of that, you know. So it's a time commitment. You have to just, you know, very concentrate. You cannot just not take it seriously. You have to take it seriously. You have to assign someone to get in there, respond to people, posting a good thing, useful thing, okay? You have a person just in charge of Facebook or not social media in general, but just Facebook? Uh, no, no, no. I mean, mainly on Facebook, but he's also doing live, Instagram, and other things too. But in the future, well, well I'm, I'm done with the job. I'm, I'm out of the, the, you know, my, my term is, is um, finished. But the next person who in charge of me probably have to, if we expand the social media to another thing, you know, we probably have to hire another person to help too, which is, that's a lot. We, well, it's a lot of work and time consuming. You, know, you have to also watch other, um, the internet thing, the E thing, the whatever thing is, is, is crazy. Anyway, case number two, this is 
a very big, big crisis too, because never before we we had all these people yelling, trying to be very aggressive. These these people were. Um, are we on the video, right? I cannot really say the name. <laughs> I'm afraid that they're gonna come and you know. But this um, this guy were the college near our campus. Okay, to make make it brief, it um, the land is belong to Jula, and we rent it to this this college. Okay, and then the time in. And they haven't paid our rent, the rental fee, and anything. And we we trying to negotiate and asking them to get, you know, what what's going on? Are you gonna stay for free forever? Are you going to do something because this is our land? And but they just said, no, this is my land. This is, you know, our college. Is so they they were gathering. The students, the old student, the you know young student, the current student, and then you know marching to Jula, and you know kind of very aggressive people, and then a lot of you know policemen, and it's it's a big big mess. So um, that time is not really. Uh, we we kind of improvise the way we respond because it's it's kind of not the thing that we planned before that they're gonna march all these a hundred of students into in front of our gate and block the traffic and anything like that. We we kind of improv is it's kind of improvised that this is the vice president, you know, these these two guys. The president has to well, we hide him up on the seventh floor. We don't want him to get hurt. So you stay in the, the room safely, you know. So the vice president had to come up and and he he well, I didn't really expect that he's going to give the interview. But the thing is, these two were in the meeting for so long, so they memorized naturally. They know exactly what they have to say. This is the real, you know, good executive. You cannot just say, oh, well, the PR, you say something. No. Now this is a man's job. I'm just, you know, a small little woman, so I hide at the back. I'm, I'm, a, I'm afraid, but I'm, I'm looking for, you know, what, what's going on and trying to help if there's something bad happen. But these two... They're such a good um, spoke people, so they they you know kind of improvise and tell the the reporter what's going on and how we're gonna deal with it. And then another thing is the press conference that we we you know had the press conference that the president came and then told the reporter that. We're not going to take that land yet. We, we're going to negotiate. We are big brother. We're not going to, you know, bully the, you know, these young people and, you know, the less opportunist people. We, we're going to help them, you know, doing things like that. So the president also improvised. <laughs> He's also a good, he was a debater. So he, he was great, you know, because I didn't prepare that. You know that they these people came into the press conference too, so we were a little scared. But anyway, the the president said, "We believe in you. We know that you're not gonna hurt our Jula people. You know things like you are the gentleman." So they kind of okay, we are gentlemen. You know things like that. But anyway, this is how how our president, which is. Um, you know, he's a great leader and good uh, people who, who can improvise very nicely to the press and, and to the thing that come into crisis. Of course, social media was a big role. We, we use a lot of Facebook and other on the website and everything to tell that this is the, the land that belongs to us, actually, the, 
you know, we have the proof, we have evidence, and we have everything. So, and then some, for some reason, we cannot, this is our website at that time. Um, we trying to we trying to say that we are um, not a bad person. We have the property that we want to share. We we know that you know you in trouble, but we don't. We not gonna we gonna give you time and things like that. But we cannot just say it because the reporter always saying that oh you're a big liar, you know things like that. But we we trying to make friends with the reporter all the time. So we, we give them dinner, nice dinner, you know, but anyway they write something good, something bad about us anyway, even though we gave them dinner. But anyway but this is the but it's interaction and relationship that we have to um keep, you know, going doing with the reporter. But anyway the 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 land now is is still is nothing no no solution yet. It's just there. They just stay in there. Leave it to the new president. So lesson learned. We are in this together. We have to follow the crisis manual. Now before we didn't have the manual anything like crisis manual, but now we had to write it down, the step of who's going to do what if someone marching and trying to crash, trying to break our fence, you know, what is the, you know, things like that. We deal with the flood, but not human. You know, we deal with water, but not human. But now we have to do this. And then every database and the key message has to be from, from us, from the communication center. You cannot just or oh, this dean of, for example, dean of communication art saying something and people were sending the, you know, forward line to everyone, which is not right. Some professor was meant well, want to help, but it's not the right, you know, message. So everything has to be in the center. So from us, the CCC, the Jula Communication Center only, and send it out, you know, otherwise it's, you know, someone's going, what's going on, this, the, that college kill our student, hit, hit our student, this is all lie, this is not true. Sometimes people have nothing to do, just make a fake news, you know, so I don't know why, but anyway, here is the thing that we learn, you know, and then we have to be careful with selecting a suitable spokesperson. The president should not be a spokesperson all the time. Just only important matters that the president should go and talk something, but not like every time. Otherwise, he look cheap, you know. And facts, of course, we're doing all this E thing. We, of course, we are, you know, new electronic innovation thing, but old fashioned still needed. Like you have to fax, you know, you have to do traditional media still. The news ticker, which is the, on, in the subtitles, in Thai, we call Tua Wing, right? The news ticker on the TV, this is free, okay? If you are nice to the reporter. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah the PA, you have to be nice to the reporter, okay? Don't just go, you a bad reporter. No? Oh, nice, handsome woman, handsome, <laughs> beautiful woman, you know, do things like that. You have to kiss ass, then you get a free news ticker, okay? This is very effective. You know, because Thai people just sit there and watch TV, but they always read the tickers under underneath the the TV. And then, of course, the press conference has to be quick. You have to hail, you have to hold a press conference within 24 hours. Otherwise, the news reporter gonna go why and and probably uh, interview your security guard instead of you. Did you live stream it or? videotape it for YouTube? For the press conference? Yeah. Um, we videotape it for YouTube. But sometimes, sometimes the, for example, the TPBS, the news station, they're just doing the Facebook Live for us. They do it, which is small. 
you know, credibility is more reliable than uh, than we. I want to show you, you know, people here in Thailand, they don't like that. They just, somebody else talks to the third person. If even the TPBS talk about us, um, having online and live about us, that is, you know, the most valuable PR, which is, you know, is great. We didn't ask them to do, but they do it for us. But the thing is, the most important thing is you have to have a good content. Yeah, otherwise you're not going to do the Facebook Live. You have to have a good content. You have to have a good, you know, reliable, trustworthy spokesperson. Okay. Uh, how am I doing okay? Okay. All right. So another thing is you have to reply, but not all the time on the Facebook comments. This is very dangerous. Sometimes people get frustrated if you don't reply the comment. The administrator of the Facebook is the person who has to have, you know, the knowledge and skill and you have to pick someone who probably knows something about regulations and when to shut up, when not to speak. You know, so anyway, everything has to base on accuracy, truth, and sincerity. You know, when you reply something that people want to know, what is going on? Is Jula gonna, you know, doing something with the land? Are they gonna kill our students? Are they, you know, things like that. You have to, you know, kind of reply, but sometimes you have to check with the president and the team and the administrator first before you re reply anything. But sometimes silent is good, but not too long. Okay, you have to be quick. Case number three. The well recent Thai political crisis before, you know, this prime minister. It was terrible. <laughs> I got a headache and a high blood pressure and cholesterol from this. This is in 2013 to 14, it dragged for a few months because they were mobbed. They, these people were camping, doing barbecue, <laughs> camping around our campus. Everywhere, from everywhere, from the countryside, you know, and for a few, few months, you know, it's the protest and sometimes a bomb, you know, and the student couldn't come to class. We have to close our campus sometimes. And of course, they rely on our Facebook and other social media and, you know, to see what is going on, how are we going to get through the gate, how is the traffic, are they blocking, are the mob blocking, um, you know, which gate? We have too many gates, our campus. Small gate, medium-sized gate, the big gate, large gate, uh, only a human gate, only a dog gate. You know, all these gates, <laughs> I don't know. We have to announce all the time what is going on, the time, from what time to what time, so people can come to work. Not only students, we have to deal with staff and professors. Especially professors are very, you know, I don't want to talk when the thing's running. <laughs> anyway, um, we get a lot of complaints, you know, sometimes. With faculty, you address them through social media uh, rather than their email? Well, we... We have the email, but they don't usually check their emails. <laughs> now the faculty is used to Facebook. What's going on with Probably going to dis <laughs> disappear soon, the email. The email, we, always, we also have the email. We send the emails too, which is more, I think email is more reliable than Facebook. But once you, you settle your Facebook official page, it, it's okay. They still believe 100% in our message and uh, from our official Facebook. Before we didn't have official Facebook, we have 
we went before the flood, 2010, there are fake Jula official Facebook, like five fake, five of them from somewhere, someone. But we, get, we got rid of that. We told Mark, Mark Zuckerberg, this is not us. Okay, so we get rid of that and we grab and then we have only one official. And the, the thing that make them believe that we are reliable is the thing that we, the content that we post on the Facebook, which is more, you know, like sometimes we have official, you know, report, official, you know, things that, and it's, it's become gradually, not one night, it's gradually gain the credit. So people really believe in us now. Yeah, you st we still get messages from, from Chula on email. Oh, uh, yeah? Oh uh, yeah. The <laughs> 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 yes, yes. We don't want to get fired like the major Cineplex <coughs> yesterday. There, yeah, this is a SMS. Still, yeah, yeah, they SMS. still. Uh, that costs money. We yeah, pay DTAC. Half of the bar for one per, for one one call, one time. But that, that oh, it's very how efficient. Many, how many are on that email? Now I think it's like about. Six thousand? No, no, three, four, four thousand professors now that sign up for this SMS. This is a short message, not not the Facebook. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's more effective because people are not online all the time, so they they look at the the SMS. It's very effective, but cost money. But anyway, I'm going to go fast now. I think you all want to go home. Okay. So you know, blah blah blah. We got this you know, good um, result. University was able to reduce danger for students, you know, because there's a bomb and guns and everywhere. So we told them to stay off campus or sometime, you know, sometimes school closed, sometimes school open. You know, it depends. And don't panic. Don't panic. <coughs> because, of course, the first time experience you know, that we had all this, you know, violence around the campus. So some people got panicked, especially parents. They not want our, you know, their children to come around and get shot by guns and things like that. So, but anyway, we have to take care of, you know, every message that we send. So we double check all the time. And of course, I have to go and correct some incorrect message all the time, you know. So it's like 24-7 jobs of PR. So we have to have a network. So we, the president decided to have a network of all these. Um, we have 19 faculties in Jula. We have about 40,000 students, about 4,000 faculty, and about... Mm, three, three, four thousand staff. So everyone, the head of the PR from each faculties become our network. So we told them, we probably have this meeting. We sometimes have the meeting with these 20 people and then we told them what to do. We gave them a crisis manual and then, you know, so they don't go panic and send the wrong message to everyone. Because everyone can be the reporter via social media and it's not good. But in, in a way that if you use it in the right way, it's good. So in time of the crisis and everyone got panic, everyone got scared, you need to have a teamwork, a very strong one. The one that can pick up your phone in the middle of the night, that not angry, you know, not angry with you or try to kill you later. So you have to have a good staff, good team. And how do you have that? You have to be nice to them, you know, trying to understand them, support. My team was uh, young people. Of course, they have their own mind, but um, sometimes I'm... I think I'm old, but I try to be young like them and try to understand them. 
So I got a good team. It was a good team, you know. And it has no holiday. Some something can happen all the time. Every everything's can going on. It's not only faculties. Can be your staff. Can be. It's July is a big, 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 big universities, and it has too many things going on. And everyone has such a high ego, you know. <laughs> yes, so you have to be careful of working with them, and then PR has to be alert, you know, anytime, anywhere, work at home or at work. My last case was very recent before I left the position. Um, the tree falling <laughs> accident. So all of a sudden, the tree just fell onto like. Five students <laughs> almost dead, you know, because the student cut cut their class, did <laughs> go to class and playing card under the trees, and the tree just fell on them. <laughs> and then we we knew I was teaching my international marketing class, and the the tree crashed, and I got my the lie is like, <gasps> okay, now don't panic, something is okay. The reason why I said okay because student not die, they they injure but then it's they still okay. But if if they die, we have to send them to ER first because otherwise, the Thai lot and the Daily News and the news reporter they will come and take picture of the dead body and that's bad. That's you not you don't not gonna like that. The PR not gonna like that. The parents not gonna like that. So. So I kept teaching my class until, you know, everything settled down. We set the spokesperson. We got the press release, and we tell we told everything in details on social media, which is quick. So everything went went very well. We, the most important thing is we apologize first, even though it's, it's just, something happened with the tree. We. We didn't know it's gonna collapse. The tree gonna fail. It's the tree, you know. So, but we apologize anyway. No matter what, it's not our fault or it's our fault. We apologize first. That's the secret. Well, not secret, but it's the thing that we're supposed to do. You know. Then, if we apologize, case closed. Okay, if we just say, no, this is not, the students were bad, they cut the class, they're playing card, it's their fault. If, if we're saying that, case will reopen on and on. And we'll go to the, you know. Are all of your posts in Thai and English? English too, yes. We have international people like Howard and David, and a lot of international students now. But not all the posts, only the posts that it's related to international people. I don't know. Okay. So we will press for taking quick action. Okay, because we were actually we were lucky that the student not dead, and we saved them. So lesson learned that this. Things from social media, okay. The traditional news, the big TV, mainstream TV channels, they're gonna pick up everything from social media now, nowadays, okay, because they probably didn't have anything else to, you know, then now they're just going to the Facebook and see what is the drama. Who's going talk? Who's talking about who? Who's sleeping with who? You know, and then go on to the traditional mainstream TV channels, which is good and bad. Okay, good is we don't have to go and pay the traditional media like TV, you know, newspaper, but that is for the good news, but not for the bad news. If the bad news go to the you know traditional media like TV, we in the bad, bad, bad shape. So we have to be careful and respond very quickly, and give them solution. Uh, this is what we have done. 
on social media very quickly, okay? And you have to be clear, accurate, okay, and quick. And the thing is, for the official announcement that is very complicated, you have to make it short. Like Professor said, infographic thing is very good. So you have to do things that are easy for people to just understand they have a short concentration now, people nowadays. Okay, they cannot sit here until five o'clock like you guys doing now. They probably leave, go to party. But anyway, conclusion. The, my experiences for the you know, last eight years, you know, just concluded that, of course, the social media is very effective, but like I told you, traditional media also still very important. You cannot just leave it behind. You have to rely on some, for example, the press conference and you know, the news ticker that I told you is, is still needed to people. You know, they're still not in these, lots of people still, still hate it to check the email or, or Facebook. Me too, but I have, this is my job, I have to do it. I like face to face, like like David said. I hate online thing, but you know, you still need to have both in moderate way, in equal way, equally use. Then you'll be okay. And the other thing is, you have to have a dedicated team, a dedicated team and a strong team. Well, you cannot do it alone. This whole thing, the crisis and everything, you cannot do like you teaching in class, your professor, you take control of your students. This is not it. The PI is totally different world, totally different. Totally different world. You have to have your big, big friends and, and team who really help you. This is a key drive. Thank you, that's it. Okay, do we have any comments or questions? Let me just ask the expert, what, what do you think are the big skills that a new person coming into a job like this would need to, to have? What are the most important skills? Okay. From my experiences, I think there are three, three important things that you need to have for PR, in, especially in Thailand, especially for big universities. You have to have a head. A head means you have to think. You have to have something that, like David said, you have to have a creative thing, a writing, a skill. You have to use your head. You cannot just you know, go on with the flow. You have to follow what's going on with this industry. What is the new thing about electronic things now. Now people probably using Facebook, using Live, but probably what is the new social media now? You have to use all these skills, you know, and, and learn a lot, lot all the time. You cannot just sit there and watching drama and doing nothing. Number two is you have to have heart, the heart. You have to have, you have to fall in love with what you do. You have to have, like, a mercy to your teamwork, to your teammate, to your, to your colleagues, because then they can help you. Reporter can help you. You know, the social media also have their own little community. This community will help you if you have a heart. Number three is your soul. Your soul. It means you have to have a faith in what you, you believe in. For example, my job could have been better, I think, if I have sold my soul to Jula. <laughs> but I couldn't. I have to tell this. Well, I tell you too because I'm out now. But I have no 100% to, to what I have done because sometimes, well, it's not my dream job because I, I was, 
asked to do this job, but I'm, I'm not, I didn't choose to do this job, so I didn't have my soul in this job. But if you want to do it perfectly, you have to have a soul. You have to believe in this is the thing that you do, and you're going to sleep well and have a good, sweet dreams. But this is a nightmare for me all the time. So you have to, you have to love it. You have to, you know, kind of be involved and believe and have a faith. For example, something that I don't agree, I have to nod my head and, yes, I'm agree. Oh, oh, you know. I have been doing that too long and torture me. I'm really suffer. So if you have to have the thing that you have to work for this, this job, the PR thing, you should choose that this is the job that you want to do and you sell your soul and then you'll be happy and your, your boss will be happy too. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah. And thank you to both of our presenters this afternoon for two wonderful presentations and to our audience for coming and uh, enjoying the afternoon with us. I think we had a uh, you know, very, uh, very effective and very successful afternoon session. So have a good time the rest of the time you're here in Bangkok. And uh, thank you for coming. Thank you.